I'm Isabel. I work in the policy department at RSPB Scotland and I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts today a bit about um, food and how we're all thinking about food during lockdown and a bit about my personal experiences with food. So I think it's just one of those things that we're all having to think a lot more about it's completely changed the way that we have to shop and think about food because um you know especially as we're trying to only go to the shops once a week we have to do a lot more forward planning about meals and how we're going to spread it out throughout the week and also kind of you know make sure we've all got enough lockdown snacks to keep us going and entertained um i think when you turn up at the supermarket and there are things just not available like flour i know a lot of people are doing baking at the moment uh, it, it does make you kind of think twice about where that's come from and who's produced it and what, what impact that's had really on, on nature as well as people, like what jobs has that created. Another issue that's like definitely come to my mind a lot and I don't know if it has for other people is just about food waste and I think when you're eating three meals a day at home you're a lot more aware of what you're chucking in the bin and you know, the first couple of weeks it we weren't quite getting it right, like the amount of fresh food we were buying versus the amount of dry food and stuff. So we ended up maybe wasting a bit more than I wanted. Um, and so we've changed our habits a bit to make sure we're not doing that as much and like coming up with creative ways to use up odds and ends and yeah. I'd say my three key takeaways from all of this have been that I want to limit my food waste as much as I possibly can, support local businesses as much as I can and get food from places that it's grown in a way that's good for climate and for nature um, so that's kind of what I've taken out of this and we'd really like to hear your experiences of food during lockdown and what you've taken out of this and whether your relationship with food and where you get it from has changed so do post your thoughts and kind of share your experiences.